So, um, <clears throat> let me start at the very beginning. I met Eric Barnes and uh, when we were both working at E-Trade back in like 03, 04. Um, and I, I went to another job. He went to another job. But we always remained friends um, and, you know, hung out from time to time. He ended up moving away to uh, Charlotte. And um, so the last time I would have seen him, he did. So he did come up once to visit me. And I don't remember if that was before the eclipse or after the eclipse. But we actually went down to Charlotte, North Carolina to hang out with him during the eclipse. Because the eclipse was going right through where he lived at the time. Um, so I honestly don't know if... The last time I saw him was down there at that time, or if he came up after that. Um, so, as you can see, I hadn't seen him in, in a while. It's been a few years. Um, but, you know, we chatted off and on and traded financial advice and, and stuff like that because we were into um, investing and, and things like that. And he was always the type of guy who would... He like he would want to brainstorm with you and sit down and try to come up with like all these different ways that you could be creative or all these different ways that you could make money and 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 things like that. So that was just the type of person that he was. Um, <clears throat> always one to want to socialize and hang out with groups and go out and and enjoy himself. Um, <sighs> He did have he did have a little bit of issue with his weight though, and when I went down to visit him back in 2017 during the eclipse, he was he was up to 300 pounds, um, but he had lost weight since then, and so I was told that he was down to like 180 um, at the very end, and I still don't know a uh, cause of death. Um, in fact, I don't even think his family knows. It hadn't been medical. I don't believe it was suicide because his job liked him. He liked his job. Um, he was looking forward to the future. He was making plans. In fact, he was going to come up and visit me this summer at some point um, and stay for a week. Um, and... Like like with the uh, the health thing, uh, he dropped down to 180 pounds. So he was he was looking pretty good. <clears throat> and so I don't think it's suicide. Also because his mother's birthday is this month, and I don't think I don't know. Maybe you would, but would you kill yourself right before your mother's birthday? I I don't I don't think so. So I don't believe it was suicide for a number of reasons. I do think it was some sort of a medical issue. Um, he did get the uh, the vaccine that was causing people to get clots, but that was females getting the clots. Um, so, would he have gotten the clot? I don't know. So, there, yeah, there's just so many questions, and it came it came suddenly. I was told this information by uh, his sister, um, <clears throat> and I'd only met her once, like I don't know, 15 years ago. When I actually, when I first met him, um, and so it's never good when someone that you've never really talked to all of a sudden reaches out to you. I knew I knew something something was wrong at that point, and sure enough, one of the very first things she says is, "I'm sorry to inform you that he has passed." So uh, that. That sucks. Um, they think that he he died um, maybe like Monday afternoon, and he was found on this couch after uh, not responding responding to uh, phone calls and texts. And um, they had they sent the cops over for a welfare check, and um, and they found him. So that's all I know right now. But yeah. Yeah, he was a good man, bright future, and taken taken way, way, way too soon. So, it sucks. <clears throat>